Things turned quickly in football a fortnight ago. Uh, Ken Hinckley and his team were top of the world. Now they've lost two. And Wayne Warren Treadray, I should say, is already suggesting that his position might be untenable. And I just look for where Ken Hinckley sits, where he's been there 10 years. He's contracted through to the end of the year. And it, for me, it just looks, albeit round three, it just looks untenable. When they've got Sydney and Sydney followed by the Bulldogs and gather round at home, there's an element of the fans where it's going to start to bite Port Adelaide in the hip pocket if they don't seriously consider where they're going. So that was Treadray. And then this was the tweet. Too good Adelaide and too tough and it mattered. Great win. Some talk the talk while others walk the walk. Hashtag showdown. Kane, you've been a vocal supporter of Ken and an occasional critic of Warren. What's your view on that? Yeah, not so much a critic of, of Warren. He can have his opinion, but he's, he's kicking with the breeze on this one. And it's a strong breeze. And that is the frustration of the Port Adelaide supporters, which he's tapping into. There's been a frustration there for three or four years, even Do when they were with him? making... No, I don't agree with him. I don't think the benefit to sack your coach after two poor performances is... What, what is that going to achieve? Who are you going to give the caretaker role to? I think he's suggesting Josh Carr. Would Josh Carr even want to do it? Are you willing to give up on the season, essentially, three games into it, off two poor performances? Isn't Josh Carr seen as a logical successor? There's some talk around that, Caro, and, and I'm sure he might do a fine job. But then equally, if you're locked in Josh Carr now, you're locking out the other viable candidates, perhaps. Now, it was always going to be tough for Ken. I think the way the club have handled it has been pretty mature. David Koch says, come and talk about it in August. Not at round three. You're not going to sack your coach and in round three. What are then to survive this? Do you think he needs to play in a prelim? What, what do you think it would take for him to ever coach? Well, it's, it's, it was always going to be hard. I thought, I sort of thought grand final, mm. Lordo, because the prelim, he'd been there and he'd come within a kick. Well, they're not going to sack twice. him if he makes a prelim. Well, they, well, they might, Caro. They, they, yeah. they, they, they were, there was angst and frustration off the back of the Bulldogs game and he got pretty close. So Do they he, walk? The, do they talk the I talk? Think they, I think there's an element in, in that that is fair. I think they talk Hands too much the and they haven't traditionally backed it up, but I know you wanted to speak about this, I think, Lauder. Yeah, I suppose uh, in, in such a big game, um, I, for Port Adelaide, they can be so good, but yet so poor. And you, and you talk about when is it going to change? And this is, he's a young kid, Horn Francis. He's been highlighted. His Jones is pretty young too, fumbling. But on, on the big stage, uh, that, that's not good enough. Mm. Uh, you and you went early in round one, though, didn't you? No, you were up and about, you know, <laughs> getting dressed up in Actually, I had them, Francis I had them 11th at the start of the you year. Got, you did get swept up. I was them. excited by a player that's going to be a very yeah. good player, and, and that is true. Um, in but fairness, I had them, that I had was a great the, win. I had them 11th. If you had your time again, though, you'd have absolutely. maybe given it another couple of weeks. No, so absolutely. Yeah. Dress is their list good enough, Kane? Well, that's the question, Lord. What has he got to work with? That's what Is his list better than what Ross Lyons currently putting out there? No. But it's, it's round not. three, so it's not. So, that's so sorry, sorry. His list is. What better do you think? Than, no, his list is more talented than the yes. lines. Yeah. But it's too early to make. You that think they're goal. underachievers? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you think some Would you of those? We sack him names? now, though. No, no. I, that's yeah. crazy to be sacking him yeah. now. But I think Rosie Butters, Dersma, You know, a lot, there's a lot of talent there. Horn Francis, even Fantasia is a more talented player than what he's dishing up week after week. Alia, Alia. They, they have a lot of talent at their disposal for what they're serving up. Craig, the coaches put a full stop on the contentious showdown medal voting today when both of them gave their best on ground to Isaac Rankin. I just thought we'd have a listen. Well, this is the voting that happened in the showdown medal. Now, we know the only person who gave Isaac Rankin votes was David King, who, in fact, wasn't at the game. Jordan Dawson won the medal. He got five votes in total from the coaches. Can we just have a listen to David King's explanation of not being at the ground? The sort of flippant discussion that we watch it off a TV screen couldn't be further from the truth. Like the, the, the setup that we've got, we can see everything. We can see the whole field. It's like a wall, and I've got the ability to look behind the ball, the ability to look forward to the ball. Wherever your eyes normally go game day, it's the same, except it's on a, a wall screen, if you like. This is a, to say you're missing things is wrong. Well, clearly he didn't. Clearly he got the votes right in terms of Rankin. But, and he was on a hiding to nothing. I don't think they should have even asked David King, even though he got it right. And I'm, I'm contradicting myself to give votes when he wasn't even at the game. And by the way, and I know I work for a radio station that isn't at every game either, but this is a showdown in prime time. And this is the national broadcaster. And they didn't go to the game. Now, that's appalling. Yeah, so that, that's that the is just that, that The AFL should have mandated that in the contract. Don't, had, did they, Craig? No, I don't know. but they could have. I think they, would, they could have easily, yeah. That's just... You take the money, you, you, you really lose Are seven the same in terms of not going to games? 
Yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So everyone's in the same boat, aren't they? No, well, that's not good enough either. Oh, yeah. And yeah. David was uh, understandably defensive, and I, I accept everything he said. Great integrity, great reader of the game, and got the votes right. So it's not nothing yeah. to do with David. No, I'm not blaming but David. They should but not he, have put him or anyone else in that spot. They should have asked him to do it, and he said, yeah. I think he said he wouldn't do it again. Yeah, you can't be watching the game on television and giving the votes. You, you wouldn't do that yep. with a Norm Smith medal.